the last tutorial, we determined the absolute uncertainty in mass, and we also determined the absolute uncertainty in the period using the half range rule. Now what we need to do is use those uncertainties to actually work out what the error bars are for our t versus square root mass graph. Problem is, we have t versus square root mass, which means the uncertainty in period is fine, they will make up our vertical error bars. What we have to do is calculate a new uncertainty to cope with the square root mass, which is on our x-axis. So we have absolute uncertainty in mass. What we actually need is the absolute uncertainty in square root mass. Now the way that we determine that is you multiply the percentage uncertainty by the power. That is what you do to work out what the transformed variable uncertainty is. So if we want to work out what the, the uh, percentage uncertainty is for square root mass, because square root mass is the equivalent to mass to the power of half, we need to multiply the percentage uncertainty by a half, by the power. Okay, so in this case, what we want to do is insert a new column, and I'm going to shove that right there, and being an uncertainty, I'll keep the color consistent. This here will be the percentage uncertainty in square root mass. Okay, now as I said before, we want to multiply the percentage uncertainty for mass by the power. Because we're square rooting, the power is a half. So we're going to go equals, we're going to go a half times the percentage uncertainty, which is 4. Now, obviously, that'll be 2%, and it's going to be 2% for all of the uncertainties in square root mass. From there, we can't plot percentage uncertainties. We need to plot absolute uncertainties for our error bars. So what we need to do is we need to insert a new column, and we need to calculate what the absolute uncertainty in square root masses. Now that is going to have um, units. It's going to have units of square root kilograms. So I'm going to go kilograms to the power of a half, so 0 0.5. Okay, so we've got to convert these percentages back into absolute numbers. So we want to work out what is 2% of the square root of each mass. So what is 2% of 0 0.224, 2% of 0 0.316, and so on. So to do that, what we want to do is equals, take the percentage, we want to divide it by 100, then we want to multiply that by square root mass. And that is going to determine what 2% of 0.224 is. Now, like last time, we've got a zero value. That's just due to rounding. So if I increase that, that's going to give us our one sig fig, which we need in this case. Okay, so that'll go two, one sig fig. If I then take that and drag it down, that's going to give us our absolute uncertainties for all of our square root mass values. And what I'll just quickly do is fix up those last two to make them one sig fig. So there we go. We now have our absolute uncertainties in square root mass. We have our absolute uncertainties in our period. And we can use those to determine and graph our error bars. The absolute uncertainty in period will make up our vertical error bars and the absolute uncertainty in square root mass will make up our horizontal error bars. 
the error bars can then be used to determine a line of worst fit and then the line of worst fit combined with the line of best fit can be used to work out what the uncertainty in our gradient is. The uncertainty in the gradient will simply be the uh, difference, the absolute value of the difference between the two. Okay, so we'll basically take the gradient of the worst fit line and the best fit line and work out the difference.